So, rings have ring elements sometimes have a multiplicative inverse, but as we found out, in a field, every element except for the zero should have a multiplicative inverse. But how do we compute it? Well, there are different ways, but what you would usually do is just exponentiating with the order minus one. So, what does that mean? So, we saw earlier that two has a order of four in the multiplicative group within F5. So, if I calculate two to the power of four, or in other words, I apply the group operation four times, the multiplication, then I get one, which is the neutral element. And we want the inverse of two, so by that we know that actually two to the power of three is the inverse, because if we multiply it by two, we get the identity element. So that translates to all elements. If we take an element and exponent it by its order, minus one, we actually get the inverse of that exact element. Because the element exponentiated by its order would be one. So there are numerous ways and different ways to find an inverse with, uh, within fields. We can also use the Euclidean algorithm that you might have learned about in, the, in another lecture, but usually those things are too expensive and we really just raise to the power of order minus one.